But I guess the other question it raises is whether or not you're in step or out of step with public opinion. Is Gary Lineker, who is a football commentator, he's the lead presenter of Match of the Day, allowed to voice his opinions? Well, it seems that in some cases he is. When he was leading the World Cup coverage for the BBC Mm. in Qatar, he opened the coverage with thoughts and questions about Qatari human rights abuses. And he did so with the BBC's blessing. And we'll remember, they didn't even cover the opening ceremony. They allowed that platform to Gary Lineker, who had worked with the BBC in order to do that and deliver something to the public that they thought was valuable. So it's fine in Qatar, but if he questions anything about this country or this government, then suddenly he's crossed a line. Let's just hear what Gary Lineker said in Qatar. It's the most controversial World Cup in history, and a ball hasn't even been kicked. Ever since FIFA chose Qatar back in 2010, the smallest nation to have hosted football's greatest competition has faced some big questions. The BBC has said publicly that it is going to talk sternly uh, to Gary Lineker about what he said. Imagine the conversation if Gary Lineker went in to see the chairman, Richard Sharp, and the chairman, Richard Sharp, says to him, Gary, you should not have done that and you need to apologise to the government. And Gary Lineker turns around and says, I didn't facilitate an £800,000 loan for the Prime Minister while we're on the subject of impartiality. But this is exactly the problem, John, and because this is where it is summed up perfectly, which is that what the Conservatives have managed to do is convince the BBC, and not just the BBC, but the wider kind of people around it, or media or ecosystem, if you like, that, you know, impartiality only goes in one direction. The News Agents. This is a Global Player original podcast. 